Okay, so I'm back. It's Ray with the Turn of the Curl. I'm going to try this again. Um, hopefully the video isn't sideways this time. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I think it might have been the, um, the light that I had on it might have been turning the camera. Who knows? Um, I'm currently... Great. I'm currently um, in an overnight um, in Houston. Um, I'm on day two of a four day trip for my job. And so I really needed to wash my hair, do something different with it. Um, I decided, well, not decided earlier when I was on the plane, um, we had some downtime. So I Googled some cute summer natural hairstyles, something I could wear besides my usual twist out braid outs or my puff. Um, just to see, you know, try something different. So I want to share that with you all. This is actually my first time trying to style my hair like this. So please be patient with me. Add more of your friends to the group, of course. Um, so all I'm going to be using today, of course, I have my spritz bottle. I always have that with me. It stays, this one stays in my suitcase. Um, just some aloe vera juice. Lavender oil, tea tree oil, peppermint, my three favorite essential oils. Um, I'm also going to be using the Natural Root Shea, Gourmet Shea Butter, which is one of my favorite products. And then I've been trying this one out for about two weeks now, and I kind of like it. It's Curly, curly Kids, but I was in Walmart like... A few weeks ago and ran into this lady and she had some really cool defined curls and I asked her what product she used she walked me right over to the natural hair section in Walmart and pointed out this product and said she loves it so I decided to give it a try it has this very floral citrusy smell to it and I like it so far because it's very light it's not a heavy product um, it seems to be reacting very well with my hair which I like so I'm gonna continue trying it out and see if that's my opinion stays the same or changes but so far I love it um I'm also going to be using some bobby pins as this cool little case by Conair um detangling comb and detangling brush FYI I only have my detangling comb on me so my parts are going to be crooked I don't know if you saw my preview picture but that's why it looks like I didn't part my hair because this thing is not good for parting hair but I forgot to bring my other comb with me um and then some hair elastics i think that's all i want to use if i end up grabbing something else my little bag is right here beside me so we'll see how this goes so the the goal is just to do these like flat twists going back i'm doing four of them and then after i do the twists i'm going to try to put them in a cute little bun as if i kind of had two little pigtails on the side We'll see how that goes. Um, I washed my hair about 30, 45 minutes ago, I think, and I kind of like gave it a chance to dry a little bit. Um, I did a co-wash, so I used my Cream of Nature. I can't remember the exact one right now off the top of my head, but I, I have the bottle, um, the big bottle back home, so I'll definitely post that if anyone wants to know, but I just used the one that's in my travel size that I put in there what am I looking for oh detangling comb that's what I'm looking for okay um so that's what I co-washed my hair with I thought I had this on already and I oh I did have it on what happened oh okay there we go um if you have seen any of my other um like my blog or my video um I don't really wash use like shampoo a lot on my hair because I've had bad experiences where it's dried my hair out and I haven't quite found the perfect shampoo yet that doesn't do that. I found one that I like but I'm still working with that trying it out. Um so I do more co-washing than anything and then whenever I go to get my hair done by my stylist back in Charleston, South Carolina, that's where I um I let her wash my hair and like really take care of it. Alright, I'm not using, I should have showed you how much that was that I rubbed in my hands, but I'll add some more in a second. Oh, oops, feels like this unbobby pinned. I pinned it so it wouldn't get in the way. I don't have any clips that I keep with me when I travel. 
probably should start doing that but they tend to be bulky and don't really fit in my um suitcase like I want to especially when I have a lot of stuff on me hey Brittany how you doing okay so I pretty much detangled when I washed my hair but since I had it kind of like wrapped up in these little top knot things it's probably gotten tangled again because that's just what my hair loves to do so I'm just gonna take my ring off I'm gonna um take a few extra seconds to try to detangle a little bit too um so after I put the curly kids on I'm gonna go back over that with the um the natural root gourmet shea butter I don't really personally like putting shea butter on my roots because it always feels heavy but I love it on my ends and towards the middle that seems like sometimes when my hair um seems to be the the most brittle and driest so to brush this I need to figure out how I'm gonna brush this let's go this way first and then this way this time so um my crew and I had about a three hour sit in Miami and we got to have some cool snacks in the crew room and then we went to one of my favorite Cuban restaurants in the Miami airport and had food. I'm a foodie, so I love to eat. And I'm also in the transitioning process of becoming a pescatarian. And so it actually was kind of fun. I don't, it was difficult because I love Cuban food, so it was very difficult to not get pork, but I didn't do it. I'm proud of myself. Only got yuca and some rice and beans. And I made sure that the beans weren't cooked with meat. So I'm proud of myself. Okay, so another fun fact. my When I braid to the scalp and when I flat twist... I kind of suck at it, to be completely honest. I really do suck at it, but practice makes perfect. So I have been practicing. So I don't think that turned out too bad. Like, I really don't. Again, this is my first time trying this hairstyle. I just wanted to try something different, but I don't think that came out too bad. Okay, so now that I have two done, this is going to be the hard part. So when I was looking at the picture, I couldn't tell how the um, person who did the hair in the photo, how they, you know, were able to get that, that look. So I'm just going to wing it. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to go back and redo it later. But I'm going to try. So let's see. And then my twists are still there. Don't forget to say hey if you're just joining in. Okay, um, do I wanna try bobby pins? Should I try bobby pins or should I try a, a scrunchie? Or an ouchless as Goody calls it. Oh, no metal elastic, that's what they call it. Um, I kinda want a big bun. Can y'all see that? It's like this. <laughs> hey, Charmel. Okay, so we're going to try bobby pins first, and if it doesn't work, y'all let me know. Don't have me walking around looking crazy. <laughs> Let's see if this actually holds it. 
So I just like pulled it up and I'm actually gonna try to wrap the end so it kind of like wrap the end over the first bobby pin so it holds a little better. Okay, someone tell me, does it still kind of look like a, like two twists? Okay. I hope. <laughs> okay. Side number two. And you know what I just realized? I didn't bring over here with me. I didn't bring, I don't even know if I have one. I'm going to have to check and see. I don't think I bought my, um... A toothbrush to brush my edges. I actually did want to try and do that for this look. All right. So I am starting. Okay. So I'm going to put this in my palm because it's, it's kind of the product. The Curly Kids is kind of runny. So I'm using about that much to start with. But... I'm actually probably adding a, about half of that, if not just a little bit more as I work it through my hair. Oh, this side's super easy to finger comb. I gotta figure out what I did on this side that I didn't do on this side so I can keep doing it. I'm trying to think where I have an overnight tomorrow. Um, I hmm, am I in Philly tomorrow? I think I go back to LaGuardia. I was in LaGuardia for a few hours um, Friday. So I think I go back to LaGuardia for a few hours tomorrow. I might go to Philly. I actually don't remember. I usually don't look at the schedule until the morning of because since I'm still on reserve, it could easily change um, overnight. So, ooh. Y'all, I really like this product and it smells really good. Like, I think this is gonna be one that I keep in the product junkie drawer back home home. Home home is not Kansas City, but like back home home in South Carolina. I have to buy a couple of these and stick them under the cabinet. I feel like this side's really detangled. So, I, well, this section is really detangled. So, I'm not actually going to use the um, detangling brush on that side. I'm just going to try and brush. Okay, so I think this is a success. Um, it's not as big. When I post the picture, you'll see they're not as big as I feel like the um, in the photo. Like these little puffs right here, or whatever these are called. <laughs> they weren't these. Mine aren't as big, but I mean, hey, I still I still like it. This will be a nice, easy going style. I really wish I had my, um, I gotta look for my toothbrush. I, I think it's somewhere in the bottom of my suitcase. It might have fallen out my my bag. 
So I'm going to try and find it. And then I'm going to brush my edges. Um, just to kind of like slick them back. And then I'm either going to take a picture now of the final look. Or I'm going to wait till in the morning after I've tied a scarf on. It made it look a little better, a little neater. I just realized I'm super short. Sorry. That looks like, I feel like maybe I should have been standing on my tippy toes the whole time. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for joining me um, with, with this first attempt at this hairstyle. Um, I would love to hear about any other styles or any other um, things you want to talk to, want me to talk about. Um, again, don't forget to turn on your notifications so that when um, some of the other ladies or myself, whenever we go live, you will be aware. Keep adding your friends to the group. We want you to share the knowledge with the people that you care about, of course. Um, if you're interested in finding me on Instagram and connecting on Instagram, you can find me at thatgalray, T-H-A-T-G-A-L-R-E-I. Um, same title for my blog and all that. And I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon. Maybe another fro venture or maybe just me at home doing something. I feel like I haven't really had the opportunity to come and talk to you guys when I'm actually relaxed. Um, I've seemed to either always be working or about to go back to work. So hopefully soon I'll be able to actually like wine dine, <laughs> wine and dine wind down and chat with you guys soon so i hope everybody has a great saturday a safe saturday and i will see you all later bye